Alright everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Hex, and this should be episode 13, let's keep on going. This is the box level I was talking about, this is the Silent Refectory. Refectory? Is that even a word? Refectory? Huh. Well anyways, this level's pretty simple, I know where all the switches are, so... I'm gonna take out these guys. Still have not discovered their name, I was too lazy to look it up. Um, oh shit! I'll do it eventually, hopefully, maybe, perhaps. Alright, so this is some weird... I mean, it's almost like a maze, this level. There's nothing there, and there's just a bunch of these enemies. So, I think the best way to take them out in such a confined area is with the wand. That way I save my ammo, too, because I was just... Last episode, I was using all my ammo. There's a piece of armor, which is nice. And apparently... Okay, there we go, I grabbed it. Take out that guy. I don't, I don't know if there's a way to lower all these boxes, but I know there's another like big area in regards to this level, so it's not just these boxes. Even though it seems pretty small. Alright, so here's a switch. I'm just going to trigger all the switches. That switch lowered something. Oh, it lowered that into... there's a portal. Okay. Oh, take out this enemy, why not? I'm pretty sure that portal exits the level, so... But, what you can do is you can go in here, behind the portal. See, behind the portal, like, come on, man, that's not obvious at all. I mean, you can sort of tell, but this game went crazy with the puzzles. You have to go everywhere. You have to really think outside the box here. So, you know what? You can go in there and waste these guys. Let's see, where do I have room to shoot it? There we go. Okay. Man, Blood Scourge for the win. All right. I can't make that jump, really? Okay, actually, I have to go all the way around and trigger this switch, which opens this. And for this hub, when you see the two gargoyles holding the jewel, that's how you know that door opens or whatever. And we found another jewel already. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Um, all right, so now what I'm going to do is do the rest of this level. Man, that was very fast. Um, all right. So I know there's a switch around here. There has to be. Do do do. Let's see. I haven't explored this entire level yet. Yep. All right. That's another clue. Where there are enemies, there are places you have not been. Okay. And they kind of explode. So if you kill them up close, you get hit. That's why being the fighter is no fun in this game. Not only do you have no range, almost you don't get a range buff until it's your third weapon. You take so much damage because you have to get up close. So I trigger that switch and it opens this wall. Oh, I remember. There's like a weird dark room, I think. And it's almost like a tower in there. Or not. This is the... Okay, this, I'm thinking of another room. I'll show you. You'll, you'll, you'll know the tower room when you see it. I thought it was in there. Maybe it's not even a part of this level, the tower room I'm thinking of. Oh, so this box is a symbol, so if you trigger it, nothing happens, apparently. Hold on. I know something happens, but let's see. Yeah, this guy right next to the switch. You know what? I'm not taking damage. There we are. Sure, this switch, and yes, this box comes down, and you can lower. Oh, here's the tower kind of room. Oh, fuck this. There we are. Here's a porculator. Can't remember the last time I used porculator. It was quite a long time ago. I need to use them more. They're really fun. Trigger this switch does what? It spawns a bunch of enemies in here. Seriously? Not about to die. Okay, um... There's a way to get in those rooms. Maybe it's through another room. It has to be. So I trigger that switch to spawn a bunch of enemies, but what did that switch do? Hmm. Let's see. So this room's open. Maybe it's something in here. There's a bunch of tables in here. Like, this is sort of a dining hall. You can see all the... The cups and the mugs and the jugs and whatnot. I don't know, there's something about it. It's like it's like you the area you're explaining or the dimension or wherever this world is. I don't know if it's linked with the other two, Heretic and Hexen too, but I mean like you can see all the dust on like, you know, the chandeliers on the tables and stuff like that, and it's just I don't know. Like whenever I think of an olden area, I almost think it's sort of magical. But, I mean, I don't know. It's just like the fantasy aspect of like an old, ancient civilization type thing. It's basically, like I said earlier, the, the clue... Well, actually, I'm going to go in here. Yeah, why not? Okay. 
take all these guys out. And so there's two different rooms. Pretty sure this is the all right. This is the water room. Um, oh my god, there's quite a few of these guys in here. And the other room is the complete opposite. So let's see. There's a switch or something along the lines. No, there aren't. All right. So wait, wait. Is this it? No. Basically, what you have to do is you have to push this wall and open it. And the way you can tell is that this wall is. I mean. Does it have the guy? No, it doesn't. It's, it looks like a plain old wall. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. Oh, the bottom of the wall has that texture to it that kind of looks like a face. Look at that. Huh. Anyways, I guess that's what the indicator. And uh, come in the middle here, and there's another jewel. Dude, I wonder if I got all the jewels already. No, there's more of this hub to that. Mm. Yeah, there has to be more than this hub. Be oh, I know. I know what's this. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to grab this jewel. And it opens these. More enemies spawn. Okay. You remember those dragon looking figures that are supposed to open up? I know they open up. I think I know how now. And I know what's behind them. I thought it was just a level. But it's a lot more than that. Okay. Man. Take this guy out. Alright, cool. Man, I need to start using my flechettes as opposed to all my ammo. Can't really use against these guys though. But yeah, like I said, complete opposite is the lava room. And uh... I don't know the point of this room. Oh, yes I do. Hold on. Because, like, we already got the jewel. But, see, Ettons are coming out of here, which is the indication. Oh, hey, you can go in there. So, grab some ammo. I'm going to... Wait. Yes, I'm going to go in here. <laughs> um, open this up, and you, you're back in the box room. Huh. Well, I mean, that tower-looking room, I can't... I want to go back and figure out how to, uh... Hmm you know, access the areas I couldn't. Maybe what you have to do is you have to ignore that one and you go over here. No? I thought there was another box. Alright, well, let's go down here and see if I can figure it out. Because there's a way to get in those rooms. There's another Ark of Death in there. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe I have to come back here. I'm not sure. I mean, all you get are items anyway. It's not too bad if I don't actually show how to get in there. I'm kind of ashamed because I like to do everything in this game, but... Let's see, maybe it's related to this room. Yes, it is. Okay, that's what I was going to talk about earlier. Alright, so basically, wait, did I, did I go through here? Oh, no! Okay, it's through here. And you have a bunch of disc repulsions which I never use. Trigger this switch. What does that do? Does it open anything? Maybe there's another jewel I'm missing from this level. It opens this area. Oh, okay. I wonder if I can just open this manually. No, I cannot. Wait, do I push this? Oh, I can push this. I see, you can see the gargoyles with the jewel. So you push this open and you get an item. Is that it? Yep, that's it. So you just get this banishment device. I mean, that's kind of a lame secret for, I don't know. Okay, so basically what you have to do is you have to go in here. And I remember this room being rather deadly, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Um, okay, so something's either, yeah, that's lowering. And uh, either I have to drop down or, oh, the room comes up for me. Cool. Go ahead and use my green mana because I have plenty of it. Huh, remember there being the uh, creatures with the uh, shields in here? I guess not. Good, you know, I'm glad they're not in here though. Good riddance. Pretty sure you have to make this jump, so... Um, and if you fall, you die. So let's fucking make it! Oh shit! Oh wait, I'm alive! Thank god! Thank god, I accidentally used a torch. Whatever, it's not like I don't have any. I have one more, but... I don't know. It's kinda lame that I used the torch. Right? Anyway, make this jump! Ugh! Man, I thought I was gonna die there. I would've been pissed. Alright, where are my flechettes? Or where's my course flasks? <gasps> Do I have no more course flasks left? No way. Hold on. I have no more course flasks left, apparently. That is horrifying. That is not good. Alright, well, we're gonna leave this area. Dude, do I really not have any course flasks left? I have three jewels, which is the rest. Huh. Alright, well, fucking... Alright, bring it on, Hexen. Apparently I'm out of course flasks. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this area. Alright, so basically what I can do... Dude, I'm at a course flask. I don't believe that shit. I don't remember it going past 10. Let's see. I don't see them in my inventory. Oh my god, how fucked. Alright, well anyway. Um, what I'm going to do with the jewels is I'm going to place them and see what happens. Alright, so let's see. 
There's one. There's one. And the last one. Now what? I think I heard something open somewhere. Let me back here. Let's see. I can't believe I'm on a quarter class. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so I know these are supposed to open. Yes, awesome. Oh shit! There's a quartz blast, man! That's all I care about. Hopefully, oh, yep. Okay. Dude, this let's play just got a thousand times harder. Alright. Kill these enemies. There's a bunch of health in here, and mana, so... And boots of speed. Which I had never really used, but... You know what? I'm gonna save my mana for when I really need it, because if I'm out of fucking health then this let's play just got really difficult oh man I need to start dodging more conserving everything I don't believe that I think this is the hardest difficulty and I haven't really attempted this game on it but dude that's insane alright so we have three levels here oh man oh so here's the second part of the hub so like like the last hub these are all dim and you have to trigger all nine to enter the next hub so Anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, go in here, kill this enemy. Shit, dude, I'm taking damage. Oh my god, I don't believe this. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Hmm, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. <laughs> oh man, this situation. This foobar. It's really foobar. Yeah, why can't this all be health? Ugh. Okay, so... Wow, really? More green mana? Why doesn't this side have blue mana? The other side of green, whatever. Anyway. So basically what I have to do for this hub is... The uh, next three levels each have three switches, I believe. Probably in and out of order, so... You know, to get all nine of these, but... What I'm gonna do is I'm going to enter the... This level. I'm gonna enter the gargoyle level here, as opposed to the dragon or this level. Yeah, this level's gonna rate me if I go in there, so... Sorry about that, someone knocked on my door. Anyways, I'm going to go into this level first, and uh, let's see what happens. Oh boy, dude, do I really not have any course flasks? Yeah, wait, 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 I saw one. There's literally one. Unbelievable. Alright, well, let's go in here. And this is the Griffin Chapel. And I remember this level. So, there are enemies in here. I don't want them shooting at me, but I can't really shoot through those. I mean, I can, but it'll be a very long and difficult, tedious process. So I'm not going to. So. Seems like they can't really shoot me, though, so. Alright. Let's see. Are you seriously fucking kidding me? Oh, shit! Come on, man. 32 health. Oh, man. If I make it through the rest of this Let's Play, then I am a fucking beast. Well, maybe I'm not a beast because I use up all my Quartz Flasks, but seriously, dude, fuck. I have a feeling I'm gonna be fucking done later, like... 5,000% done right now. There's another Quartz Flask in there, I'm gonna have to go through all these enemies just to get to it. Oh, shit. Okay, let's see. So basically, as I said earlier, See if I can do anything with this. Yes, I can. Fuck! Come on, no! No more damage! I have 8 health! Fuck it, using using a Mystic Urn. I don't give a shit, I have 5. Alright. Oh, man. See, this is why I went through and got all the secret shit. Mystic Urns. Alright, so this... One ninth of the puzzle has been solved. This opens, and this opens. No enemies in there, thank god. On the Monastery. Alright, so grab this torch, which is perfect because I accidentally used my torch earlier, and here's a quartz flask. Sure, that switch, which opens this. Okay. I won't have to worry about these guys anymore. I have a chaos device, and uh, I can guess that this switch opens up this side. I can assume that. Alright. Shit! Come on! I'm not going to use a blood scourge shot on just one enemy. Okay. So, I mean, I'm going to take this guy out too. He's kind of pissing me off. Alright, so now what? Oh, there's another piece of your blood scourge in there. That's interesting. Um, basically, there's a way to open these. I don't remember how. Something with this metal pillar. I know that. And maybe that's all I can do for now on this level. I think that might be... 
Yep, because I obviously... Yeah, no, there's no way. Can't do anything in this level. So... Yep, I've done everything. Okay, well... Yeah, that's crazy, too. I mean, come on, man. Like, that looks like you can't even open it, at least. And then that's part of the puzzle. Like I said, this game's crazy, man. Crazy difficult. Alright, well, I'm going to enter another level. So... I'm going to enter this level. And I'm going to do some of it, and that will be the end of this episode, because the clock is ticking. And so this is the Dragon Chapel. Oh, cool. Perfect. Perfect name for it. And this sort of leads you back to the main hub. As you can see, this is kind of plain portal. So... What I'm gonna do is, um, oh fuck, this opens before I trigger it, which is kind of scary. All these enemies pop up, spawn, or they were hiding, waiting for me. So, shit. Man, we did work this episode, though. In terms of solving the puzzles and making progress, we, we did work, guys. Oh boy. Yeah, this game's a lot longer than I remember it being. I think Heretic is a lot shorter. Heretic is literally Doom style with the episodes and levels per episode. So so this room is huge in there. I'm going to keep using the wand because there's no reason for me to use anything. I mean, I'm safe in this room. Saving my, my mana and my horse flasks and whatnot. So, but yeah, this level's pretty simple. I think what they did with this hub is they made the levels very simple, very short, but there's a lot of them. So, and I'm taking damage like it's my job. Let's see. Alright. I can survive with 79 health. I'll take that asshole out up there. I hate him. Wait, maybe the Etten will take him out. And I killed the Etten. There we go. Yeah, see, look, it's like these guys are almost immune to my Ark of Death. They only, it only, the lightning latches onto them for like a second. Very weird. Oh, dude, recognize this music. This music is the same music they used for the second half of the game, the Seven Portals. Do 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 do. That's kind of cool. It's a little lazy, but it's kind of cool they reused it because it's almost I don't know. Old games are allowed to be a little bit lazier. They were limited back then. <laughs> a little more limited. All right, I think I took that guy out. So. Oh boy, wow, did my game lag really bad right there. Get all the crystal vials. Take these enemies out. This episode is almost 20 minutes long already. Crazy. But with all I did, clearly a very good episode. It's not just me running around, not figuring out what to do. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't gotten too lost yet. Um, I mean, there were times during this LP where I got a little lost. But nothing too extreme. You know what? I'm not going to fight those enemies until I find my way up there. I know you can open this side. Um, you can open this somehow. Same with the other side over here. I guess I have to... Ah, fuck this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these guys out. Hold on. Dude. Unbelievable. Fuck it. You know what? I don't care anymore. Whoops. Alright. I'm gonna take these guys all out. Oh, so I triggered some enemies apparently by accident. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. <sighs> running out of health here. Take these guys out. Oh, there's another Mystic Urn. Alright, that's my excuse to take a bunch of damage, damage and use another Mystic Urn. So, and here's a bunch of... You know, here's a bunch of mana. Fuck it. If the game's gonna give me a bunch of mana, then I'm going to use this. I have 54 health now. I don't, I don't want to find... Oh, and those opened up. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. can't believe they didn't kill in one hit. Oh, okay, well, you see, the cool thing about this weapon is that it kind of, the, the balls of fire circle around until they hit an enemy, um, or disappear. I mean, they're not nearly as accurate as the Wraith Verge for the Cleric is, so. Here we have an enemy here trying to, a little swamp monster. Oh, God, he did damage. You know what, Mystic Urn, using one. Enemy respawn somewhere. Come on, man, give me a break, game. All right, so, basically what you have to do is you have to step in this water. Oh, it doesn't lower. Okay, I forgot how it lowers. Um, you come in here, and these actually hurt you if you... Yeah, I can't access that area. It's blocked off, but I can go through here. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, fuck. See, just touching those hurt me. Um, hopefully I can get through here without too much difficulty. I'm running out of green mana. But I will use my fucking... This lowers, yep. And I think those guys... 
Those shielded enemies are up here, so this will be... Oh, God. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Pushing them the fuck back. Fuck you, fuck you. Alright, the one time the disc repulsions are going to be useful is literally right here, because I have no health. Alright, you can do the same thing on this side. So, apologies for being a little sick. Oh, there's one quartz flask. <laughs> no. Okay, take these guys out. Shit, alright. Grab this health, perfect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can take these guys out, too. This will be quite the long episode, folks. Alright, so take this out. What's up here? What's up here? Oh, guess I'm gonna find out. Oh, great. Fuck! Oh, son of a bitch. You don't wear my course flasks. I have how many now? Six? Okay, I can deal with six. Alright. Where'd he go? Oh, he went back up here. Trigger this. Where'd he go? I'm kind of scared as to where that enemy went. Unless they all started infighting and he was taken out. But with my luck, that's not what happened. He just went up the stairs somewhere. Okay. Fuck you, you bitch! There we go. I, I'm so lucky to have taken him out with the wand. Oh my god. Okay, so... I wasn't supposed to go over here. Oh, well, there are items over there. Oh, you son of a bitch, video game. Can't believe there's a trap right behind me. <laughs> Actually, I can, but did, I didn't. I didn't know about it beforehand. Okay, here's some green mana. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so do I do this now? <sighs> There's a way to lower that. Okay, this is gonna be a long episode. I want to finish this level before the episode's done. I have one course flask left. Oh, what's this? When ninth of the puzzle has been solved. Wonderful. So I, I don't think this can open until I, I think I might have to come back for that to open because I've done virtually everything I can do in this level, I suppose. I, I did... got the puzzle. Somewhat of it. Hmm. Well. Oh, there's a switch up there. How do I go up there? Oh, wait! Boom! Okay. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Didn't have to look that up. Not that I've been looking stuff up to solve this game. That lowered... or that opened something I heard. The only thing I look up, uh, looked up during this LP is uh, the secret levels, how to access them, because I'm not too familiar with that, but let's see. I still can't do that. Alright, what did that do? Oh, I think I know what that switch did. That switch might No, it didn't open that up. Hmm, what did it do? I didn't go over there, so let's see. That's still closed. That cannot be accessed. Mm-hmm. I went up there. Alright, well, I think that now is all I can do for this level. And that switch probably did something in another level entirely, to be quite honest. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here, so... Right, actually, I'm going to wait here to see if it lowers. For a second, um... The enemies responding, this isn't going down. Huh. Alright, well, I guess I'm a little lost, but I, I think I've done everything I can do in this level, so... What I'm going to do is exit. And, um... Can these open, by the way? No. Maybe, maybe they can. But anyways, I'm going to exit this level. And on the next episode of the Let's Play, we're going to enter this level. So, thank you all for watching. This was a meaty episode. <laughs> and I will catch all of you later.